Hi all, this is Cognet speaking. I hope you guys are well. Well, as you can see by the title below, Ramadan Experience, this is basically a, a video to tell you how I felt through the process on the religious month of Ramadan in the sense of doing my diet and regimen. Now, this has nothing to do with religions wise, so I'm going to strictly talk about things dietary wise. Well, um, in the early morning of the of the fast, which we call Sehari, I what I eat, I take one piece of like Texas toast, I think it's kind of like an onion bread, and I sprinkle a little cheese on it, and then I eat that, and after that I have like a one full 30 ounce bottle of water. For me, drinking a lot of water is a must in the early times of the morning before you take the fast because it will keep you well hydrated throughout the entire day from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. because the sun doesn't set until 8. The only time when we're allowed to eat again is when the sun goes down. And the sun goes down at 8, 8.30. And then um, basically it's you have to wait it out for the whole day. No eating, no drinking, and it's very hard. It helps you understand how the poor and the hungry feel. And when you finally are able to eat or something, it teaches you how to feel grateful that even when a person is poor and they get a little of something, they learn to how to feel grateful. Anyway, uh, in the eat late evening, which is called the iftari, when we're allowed to eat, we I take, um, let's see, like a bowl of salad and some eggs. Because I'm not really much into eating chicken, only when I feel like it. But I'm basically an egg person, and I take a cup of coffee with it. And that's basically it. I don't eat after that. Basically two meals within over 10 hours. But I do continue drinking water throughout the time. Because I think it's best to get yourself as hydrated as you can. Keep yourself, keep the water flowing, keep the water going. And that's basically it. Um, it's really hard for me to work out as much as I used to before Ramadan because when before Ramadan you were able to eat and drink whenever you could and when you exercised you could you could if I got thirsty I would drink water but in Ramadan when I exercise I can't drink water I, I can't that will that will break the fast so um, I exercise less now I only exercise half an hour instead of an actual hour and um, basically do the same thing, but just cut it down. Um, the same thing goes for weightlifting. I weight lift two, two times a week, and I go. I do cardio about four times a week. So that's basically it. Just cut everything in half. But I still am managing to lose some weight, and thankfully, um, I'm able to continue with my regimen, but also go about my religious duties as well. But when, for women, when you're on your period, you don't have to fast. It, you don't fast at all. Guys are the only ones who keep their full fast for the full 30 days. And as girls, we don't have to. Elderly and children don't fast. Those who are not strong enough or physically strong enough to fast. And that's basically about it. Anyhow, this is just a small video on how I basically, what I basically do during Ramadan. And to, last to note... The most important thing you can do, well, for the people who fast, is to keep yourself as hydrated as you can. So before the time of fast and after the time of fast, drink as much water as you possibly can. It will protect you from feeling drought. I don't feel as much drought as I would because I drink a lot of water to the part where I feel like I'm going to explode. It might make you make you feel a bit uncomfortable, but it's worth it throughout the entire day. Anyhow, this was my video, and I, God willing, inshallah, see you again. Peace.